Hey guys, he likes to watch here. Um, last night I was watching a video, and it was uh, KGB 65 and his son. I'm not sure what his. I couldn't really tell what his name was, but uh, thought it was EG, but I wasn't sure. But anyway, they were at the range and they were just shooting some little drills, and they were shooting. Uh, they were using their their. Uh, packed club timer too. In fact, the reason I have one is because, uh, well, I kind of like the idea of shooting with a timer, and I had watched one of KGB 65's uh, videos like a month ago or two months ago, and he was talking about how much fun it was to shoot using a timer, just competing against yourself, against the clock. And so, convinced me, and I bought one. Well, anyway, last night they were shooting, or the video was on last night, um, and I'll put a link down to it because they do it. They'll, they do it a lot more justice than I will. Anyway, they're shooting at three steel targets um, at varied ranges and varied, um, you know, not not straight in line. Um, staggered, I guess, is the right word. Anyway, they're shooting uh, using three mags, three shots, reload, three shots, reload, three shots, reload. And uh, I'm telling you, KGB's son, really on it. He did like, did it one round in like 11 and a half seconds. Really, really fast. It was, I was impressed. Anyway, thought I'd give it a try. Anyway, th this was the, this was the fun part of the video. The rest would be a little boring maybe, but I'm gonna give this a try. Anyway, we're gonna go down here. I've got uh, down in the the right arm of the range, and I've got three targets there. I'm going to be shooting from uh, first one's at 30 feet, second one's 43 feet, and the farthest one is 66 feet away. Steel target, so hopefully be able to hear it ring. And if my wrist doesn't give out on me here for some reason. And also, on the way down here, I wanted to uh, show off my flag. I won this from Alaric 357 in his contest. Very cool. Thanks, Alaric. Finally got it used someplace. This is not a permanent home, of course. I'll have to take it home at night. But... Okay. Okay, well, here we go. Um, the targets are the that I'm going to be using. The one just to the left of the bowling pins, the small red one, then the orange one, and then I don't think that you can see the other one down there. It's the old beat up orange one that we shoot with a rifle. So uh, we'll be shooting from right here. The said this is 30, 43, and 63 feet. Picked it off a little bit ago. And I got myself a tarp out here to try and catch my brass. I may start reloading, I don't know. Do this. Can you see that even? I don't, can't tell if you can or not. It's 19.37 seconds first time through. That was with one miss, so add another nickel onto that. 24 and a half seconds. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna reload my mags and go one more time.
KGB 65 made a really good point about this and that's that you can come out and you can have a lot of fun and not just blast away you know hundreds and hundreds of rounds of ammo so uh, we're gonna give this a try for a while Oop, piece of brass what is picking up brass thing oh my god you can stand in one place and shoot and then you can you can look for brass until your eyes bleed and not find it all come back the next day and they're just there they are it's like how did that happen so evidently my tarp is not big enough anyway here we go loaded the, uh, the timer has a delay so you can hit the start button and it'll, it's like a two to three second delay. Gives you a chance to hit the start button to do it by yourself, to have a little practice. Anyway, so here we go. a little better. That was 16.31 and I don't think I had any misses that time. We'll know when we, when we watch it. Anyway, I want to thank you all. Have a great weekend. Go shoot something and uh, be safe.